Do you have any respect for Manchester City? No. <laughs> no? I hope they get relegated if this thing gets guilty. You think Chelsea might be going down the same path? No. Do you have any respect for Manchester City? No. 115. 115 charges. Get them down to League Two. What have they done wrong? I don't actually know, but it's 115 is all I know. Do you have any respect for Manchester City? You have to respect them, but no, really no. They have 115 charges, so they shouldn't have any respect for them. Do you think that Chelsea may be breaking the rules too? I doubt it, because these American owners, they seem to be cleverer than anybody else. <laughs> so, Do you think Chelsea are in danger of going down the same path? Probably. I don't know. We'll just sell some more hotels and call it quits. Slightly. I mean, at the end of the day, they managed to build what they have. They've done a good job, to be fair, with what we want to get to. So, a little bit. Add another oil club. In the last five, ten years, City have been the best-run club in the league. Like, people can slate them, they spend money, whatever. Um, but they've made some, they've let people go at the right times. They brought in some good players. Um, if you look at net spend, you look at Chelsea, United, even Arsenal, they're spending a lot more. So, regardless of what people say, City been run brilliantly the last five, ten years. You're not happy with the transfer policy at the moment, then? What's the po what, what policy? What is the policy? What is the policy? <laughs> they had the chance to sign Felix last summer, said no. January, no. Now, at the beginning of summer, no. Oh, we need to bring money in for Gallagher. Oh, now we want Felix. What policy is that? There is no policy. You've brought in a manager who's had 67 professional games. First error. Say so the end zone number one isn't is a 10. I know. So what are you doing playing him there? I don't. Am I manager? But then you, no, no, but I'm not saying, but then exactly. it's the board. You brought in a manager who I doesn't know. know what he's doing. He's out of his depth. But you knew that already before I you I knew this, first. but that's what I'm saying. We but can't you just said there's nothing going wrong. Mate, there's everything going on. The whole whoa, whoa, club's a mess. Say? The whole club's a mess. But how, yeah, as we, as fans, how can we go back? We can't change anything. Do you have faith in Chelsea's transfer business? 100%. They know they what they're doing. They know what they're doing, obviously. It's All I know is we get a new player every fucking second as it goes. But um, I'm up here with some of the signings. I think Drewsby Hall is a bit out of his depth. But a couple of other signings. We made some good signings. Like Pedro Neto, I think that's a brilliant signing for Chelsea. The more he plays, I think we'll play better. I think it's a gamble. They're signing young players, but uh, the new ownership, I think this is the season. It's either it comes good or, you know, something, someone's got to come good. They bought so many players. Do you even want to sign Jao Felix? <sighs> Purely for the vibes, but I mean, I mean, we can get him for a cheap deal, sure. But at the end of the day, I don't think he really... We kind of got Palmer to replace what he was doing when we got him originally. So it kind of feels like we're trying to repay what we got. I personally think that Nicholas Jackson is a good enough striker to do well for Chelsea. I mean, I watched him the whole of last season. He causes problems. He gets in behind. He gets goals. I think he's good enough, but Chelsea seem to not be able to stick with the players they've got and give them confidence. We're always looking elsewhere. He's better. I mean, he's a good footballer. I don't think he's the man. I personally think Nick Jackson is good enough yeah. to be Chelsea's number nine with the right players around him. Yeah. Do you want to sign Xiao Felix? Well, he's better than some of that we have now. Yes, I would say yes. Of course, yeah. He was a great player. He carried us that season. It's a tough one because I think when he was here on loan, he didn't do great, but I think there's a player there. I think So I think if, if you could get a decent deal for him, I would do it. If you're not going to get Osman, you got to get somebody.